naive observer. <laughs> Literally exactly like it sounds. This is somebody that doesn't know what you're doing. Actually, no, they do know what they're doing. They... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Perfect working. He's hired. Um, so somebody that is unaware of the purpose of the study uh, that's going on or the phase changes and all that fun stuff, all the details of the study, they don't. we don't want them to know anything. We just want them to count behavior. The reason we don't want them to know anything about what's going on, hypotheses, details of the experiment, study, whatever you're doing, is that they will tend to do hypothesis guessing and stuff like that, and they can just bias their, record, or their data. Right? We want to reduce bias by keeping them naive. In another context, in another world, research methods, we might call this a type of blinding. But in this case, we're blinding the observer, right? Um, so they just don't know what's happening. They can see the behavior, but they don't know if it's supposed to go up, go down. They don't know what the goals of the experiment are, so they're not going to bias the results.